Good morning, sir. Good morning, ma'am. Spiritual food delivery. Our spiritual food for today is taken from the book of John. John chapter 15, verse 26. But when the comporter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. Most of the times, the Holy Spirit is identified by his certain function as a teacher, helper, and guide. But his identity rests on three factual truths. Number one, the Holy Spirit is God. In the Bible, with several instances, the Holy Spirit is referred to as, quote-unquote, the Spirit of God. Number two, the Holy Spirit is one with God the third person of the Trinity. Undeniably, Holy Spirit possesses the inherent nature and character of God. If we observe in John chapter 14, verse 16 to 17, the Greek word for another is literally translated one of the same kind. It means Holy Spirit is God Himself. Omnipotent omnipresent and omniscient third reason since the holy spirit is a person he is god the holy spirit likewise is marked by a distinct personality holy spirit is not an it holy spirit has a will emotions and intellect as a person the holy spirit can be grieved resisted to and lied the Holy Spirit is life, and Holy Spirit helped birth the universe in Genesis chapter 1, verse 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. Remember, Jesus Christ was conceived by an act of the Holy Spirit. Insight, the believer is given God's life through his indwelling, and the abundant life is possible only through his activity. Indeed, the Bible is unequivocal that the Holy Spirit is in fact God, just as Jesus Christ and the Father are God. Hope you find our spiritual food so tasty. Till next time, your delivery man of God, Pastor Robel Maranyon. God loves you.